Hello there and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be learning how to create a snow blizzard in Blender. So this is what we're going to be creating. Let me just play it back for you. Uh, we made the animation part in the previous video if you want to learn that uh, you can see uh, how we did that so yeah before we get into the tutorial let me just do a quick sponsorships uh, because this helps out the channel and that makes it possible for me to make these tutorials so yeah this is uh, brought to you by a perspective plotter an add-on that lets you align your uh, reference images with your scene so if you want to get it link is provided in the chat you can read about the features it's a very cool add-on uh, then also botanical add-on is a library of trees and vegetations that you can use with your project Ag again links in the chat if you want to check about check more about it and uh, buying it supports the channel and finally we have run tools which is a hard surface modeling tool and uh, just adds a lot of tools uh, or features to blender that will enable you uh, create hard surfaces uh, like this in a few simple steps again if you want to read more about this uh, you can find uh, links provided in the charts it can help you make cables and quite a lot of other things so let's jump in and uh, see what we're going to be doing today okay so this is our starting point uh, we're going to add a cube uh, this is going to be our particle emitter let's make it so it fits uh, our snow area I like that and we can go to the particle system create a new particle system if we play back and say snow is falling down uh, we can add wind so shift a force field wind I uh, can rotate this on the X 90 degrees think uh, so that uh, is facing is blowing in the direction of the particles so let's use a, a force of let's try 50 okay, that's too fast 25 yeah around that and uh, maybe we can bring this around uh there let me turn my shortcut so that uh, if you want to see what i'm doing okay then another thing we want to do is uh, uh let me just for visualization let me add a cube here let me turn on random colors and uh, go to the particle system our uh, under render turn on object as rendered and uh, render as object and then see this is what we have uh, we can increase the scale of the cubes and uh another thing i usually like to do is instead of emitting from faces i like to emit from volume uh, so that uh, let me go to edit mode here increase so that particles are in uh instance inside let me turn off the viewport inside the mesh as well like that one thing you will notice that uh, particles are just entering the scene abruptly they just uh pop in and pop out when they die I like here just you see them just uh, disappearing instantly uh, that's not something you want to see I uh, don't want to see particles uh, popping into existence and then popping out it doesn't uh, seem very realistic so what we want is to have the particles fade into existence and then fade out instead of just popping in and popping out of existence so to do that we're going to need a particle system that uh, maps uh, the particles scale uh, so that it starts out small and then fades uh, grows and then fades away so that it doesn't just pop out and uh, exist it uh, doesn't seem like it's just popping into existence and uh, popping out so let's go under uh, scroll down in the particle system until you find textures and uh, create a new texture i uh, can call this uh, uh, particle whatever you want to call it uh, let's go to the textures and uh, make sure that uh, we are using that as the texture so it's uh we want to change this to blend and uh, after you change that to blend and uh, generated under influence make sure that uh, it's using instead of generated you want it to use uh you want it to use to affect the size so you can see that uh, particles seems that uh, okay yeah so it by checking the size the, it should uh, have the effect of uh, setting the particles smaller and uh, uh, reducing them in size as it goes as uh, other their life uh, goes but uh, because we are using a different type of mapping we want to use uh the strand or particle uh, mapping uh, to have the effect we want so now if we play back you can see particles start out smaller and then increase in size and but uh they pop up to, of existence uh, uh when they die so if you don't want that you just have to go back to the uh blend here settings and uh, look for uh, colors uh turn on color ramp and uh, let's make sure that the alpha here is set to one and so black means that uh, the particle size is zero uh the white means the particle size is uh the largest as it can be the maximum so at the end of their life we want it to go back to zero so you can see they start out at nothing grow and then shrink again so you can see that's what we want but uh this really wouldn't will not matter in this scene because by the 
time the particles die, are they not really being seen in the in the system? So we can remove this node, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now another thing I want, I don't want them them to fall too down, uh, so much down. Uh, so what I'm going to do is kill off any particles uh, that cross this because our camera is going to be around here. Any particles below that is is just going to be a wasted wastage of resources. So let's add this plane. I uh, go to the physics tab, turn on collision under uh, under particles turn on kill particles so any particle that touches uh, this just dies immediately so that we're not wasting particles because more particles equals uh, more computational resources uh, another thing we want to do is add some turbulence within this particle system so let's add a, a force field turbulence uh, we can use a force uh, 10 maybe a size of 2 I can experiment with the settings you want uh, let's try 50 so that we can see the turbulence we are adding uh, so you can see some turbulence there and uh, yeah, it also lets the particles go on uh, for a little bit longer instead of just dying off down, uh, which is nice. Uh, another thing I want to do, uh, if you look closely, uh, the scene starts out with no particles and then they start gradually, uh, in the number of particles increases. So we don't want that. We want to have to start the scene with some particles in in the scene. So let's start with a, a start a from start value of fi negative fifty, so that we always have some particles in the scene and then. I like that so now let's look at uh, the shading we have managed to get the particle animation done uh, let's look at the shading so let's go to the shading tab uh, we can select this particle i'm going to use a fresnel uh, node to create a snow a snow particle so let me see where is uh, my particle in this if you look at any of these particles you can see you can see them from an all different angles it's like uh, a volume object, but it's not actually a volume object. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's create a new uh, material. Use uh, let's use. Uh, we got, we want to use an emission. Uh, actually, we can get away with using a translucent uh, because that then the particles will be affected by the light, and then a transparent material. Blend the two, and then connect this to the surface make sure that uh, in the material settings in the material settings of the object you have blend mode set to alpha blend and uh, they don't really need uh, to have a shadow so i'll turn off uh, the shadow and uh, show clip uh, show show back face off uh then for 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 the mixing of these two shaders i'm going to use a fresnel effect uh under layer weight actually you can just use facing and that will just give us a mask for our surface. Uh, so the layer weight, the layer weight uh, option doesn't really work well on uh, cubes. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into edit mode of this object, uh, shift S uh, to have the center at the pivot point, delete everything, and then add uh, an icosphere like that. If I shade smooth, you can already see the snowball. Uh, then I can add something like a car ramp here to control the contrast or the size of that that sphere you can see what we have uh, so from any angle is still uh, a nice uh, rounded ball but uh, the problem is uh, this also has a lot of geometry and we have hundreds of particles which is going to uh, slow down the computer so this is not uh, bad it's, it, it doesn't seem to have any effect on the computer but we only have a thousand particles we're going to need way more than that so to make sure that uh, we stay within the limits of what our, our, PC, our pc can can manage i'm just going to add a decimate modifier to this so i'll just go in here shrink this down you can see we are changing the shape the shape of uh the shape of the snowball the, the snowball is uh is uh being affected but uh these particles are going to be moving very fast. It won't be that. It won't matter as much. As much, and uh, so I'm going to apply this, and uh, I'll I'll go back to the particle system and use that as uh, the new particle system. So now you can see that. Uh, yeah, from this angle, it doesn't really matter uh, the shape, and uh, the, the particles are moving very fast. Uh, one other thing I want to do is go to the particle system and uh, change the turn on rotation so that the objects have a random rotation and i guess i should have shown this when we are still uh using before we apply the material actually i think i can show it now uh you can see 
in the particle system if we add another velocity we can turn on a randomize the velocity dynamic uh, to rotate the particles as uh, they move and uh, the the rotation the angular rotation is going to be dependent on the velocity so yeah i think you can let me increase the size of these particles a bit uh, yeah, so you can see them rotate, which is nice. Uh, we can also randomize uh, the scale of these particles, and uh, you can see we have now something like that. Now we can multiply the particle number, particle count to about 5,000. Uh, so we have, yeah, something like that. And uh, you can uh, go on to the main particle, uh, play with the, the shape a bit if you want more, a more contrasted particle a more rounded particle yeah something like that now let's go in here turn on some lighting and see how things look i'm going to add a sun like this with a value of 10 and uh, and maybe even add a sky texture i'm just going to use white so you see what we have you can increase now if you look at uh, my original version there is there were also some wind or some dust, very thin dusty particles uh, that are being blown uh, in the in the scene. So to, to do that, I just faked it with, uh, let me show you here, uh, with a plane. So let's add a plane, I rotate it 90 degrees, like that. I can uh, scale it on the X, apply the scale. Okay, so. I create a new material. Uh, let me get rid of this. I use a transparent. I use the uh, an emission and um, a transparent transparent shader blended into. And uh, then uh, in the material settings, we need to make sure we have alpha blend and uh, shadows none. Uh, then for we're going to use a texture, a noise texture, as the factor here. Now let me add a car ramp to control the contrast and uh, i'm going to use an empty like this to control uh, the positioning so let me add uh, the mapping and uh, set this to object select the empty as the object scale up the noise and scale it on the x so that is uh, like that i can also scale this even further like that you can play with the detail maybe add some slight distortion uh, like that so let's see scale this maybe even further and uh, then we can animate the empty going from left to right uh, let me going like that and you also want to give it some X movement because that will allow the particles to distort a bit so it's not just moving in one direction it's moving it's not just moving in this direction it's all it's just moving at in this direction like that uh, so that we have you can see how it's moving uh, so we have uh, some distortion in the in the noise so if we bring everything back I think our noises are scaled up too much. So let's go back to this. Scale this down. There may be. Ah, hopefully you can see. Yeah, you can see. You definitely can see now uh, that dust uh, moving around. And uh, what I did is duplicate this a few times uh, to make the effect more pronounced and uh, uh, this should use a vector so basically that's what I did and uh, then I added a volumetric object with uh, the usual shadings just a uh, density and what uh, so I ended up with something like that. And uh, that's how you create a snow blizzard in 
blender again if you want to support the channel you can get the petrol the uh the file on my patreon page or you can uh down you can buy the add-ons that have promoted uh, added the links in the chat uh, anyway like leave a like subscribe if you want to get more videos short videos like this uh that are kind of detailed and uh, yeah thank you see you later